How's it going everybody? My name is Luxavian. After my last video on how to do the third person camera collider, I kind of went a little bit crazy and just made an entire character controller here. And I have something cool to show you. So I obviously just made it so you can kind of walk in pretty much all the directions. So you got your diagonal angles and then just your regular facing angles. And then I also made a sprint animation is really fun to make and it just kind of adds quite a bit to this little character here and then my favorite part it took me forever I spent the last I don't know eight hours working on this system because there's not really any good tutorials on how to make a climbing system so this is the climbing system that I've been working on still a little bit janky uh, <laughs> and sometimes the camera uh, sticks a little bit too close to the character Basically the way this camera or this uh, climbing system works is this little red line. You can see I used another ray. I've been getting really into these rays. They allow you to do so much. So as soon as the ray collides with a object, like a 90 degree angle, you basically go into a player state that is just climbing. Or you can move up, but you can't move side to side or down. You can just move up. <laughs> so I'm going to have to add some... Uh, movements that way but as you can see pretty much any 90 degree angle that you run into you can climb there is still a little bit of a thing where if you climb something that has a, a ceiling on it you kind of just do this and yeah still a work in progress uh flushing out all the uh the bad bugs and stuff like that but as far as a proof of concept it's working pretty good and then I'm probably going to see if I can't make a animation for when you get to the top of an object to where you kind of just push yourself up instead of doing the slide over <laughs> like this. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll show you uh, kind of what my logic is looking like. So this is the logic for this uh, climbing thing. We have multiple systems going on with the armature. So when the armature... Uh, hex the ray it'll send a message and then that message will change these properties if the property is one then it will allow the action to start playing so that's basically the uh, ray touching this any object and then we have the character so the actual movement of the player and this is where it gets ridiculous so we have messages that turn on the same kind of player state you can see here that I turn off all the movement states and physics states and then once your ray is not colliding with the object anymore it resumes all those states so that you can move around freely just not while you're climbing because it kind of breaks if you do if you can move around and then yeah we just have a motion that's telling it to go up in a linear fashion up the wall and then all that creates this <laughs> so i hope you all enjoyed we've had quite the year going on here and 2023 is coming up. I'm probably going to be taking a week off or something, even though I don't post that often. I make a lot of videos, but I don't post them as much as I should. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. Have a great rest of your evening, day, or whatever. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and try checking out one of these videos. It's pretty cool. <laughs>